Some companies stand behind their products. As a fire response company, we live by ours. Nearly 100 firefighters die each year. Some to a notorious kind of fire, few have the skill and training to fight. These are industrial fires, massive infernos, fueled by oil, gasoline, and other flammable liquids. They are not extinguished easily, burning hotter and longer than almost all other fires. They are also explosive, prone to flash from dangerous to catastrophic in seconds. Industrial fires often burned until the fuel ran out. The cost to business, the environment, and human health was staggering. But by the turn of the 21st century, that old story had changed. August 1999, in Wortham, Texas, an oil pipeline explodes into flames and burns out of control for several days, overwhelming local firefighters. Specialists are called in. They put out the fires in three hours. May 2000, Eunice, Louisiana. A chemical freight train derails, setting tank cars of hazardous chemicals ablaze. Others are set to explode. The town is evacuated. But experts arrive, and in a few hours, the fires are extinguished, a major crisis averted. September 1999, Wesley, California. When lightning ignites a dump of over five million tires, experts estimate it will take months to extinguish. The pros are called in, and the fire is out in a little over three weeks. On June 26, 1999, Dwight's team is called to Amelia, Louisiana. Like a fast leaking tire, a crippled natural gas well under more than 10,000 pounds of pressure spews explosive vapors into the air. The Williams job, to disperse the hazardous fumes while a crew moves in to patch the well. Before they can start, a lightning storm forces the crews to evacuate. One spark changes the Williams' mission. The well ignited. The whole sky turned basically orange. Now it's not just vapor mitigation, it's a firefight. Uh, we get out there, the derrick, it lasted about 18 minutes before the heat just melted it over. It looked like a pile of about half-cooked spaghetti. The tall spire was now a melted mountain of steel. The drill stem that had been twisted down into the earth was now dislodged. Like a giant blowtorch, it was shooting fire into the air. Pressure fires can be controlled a couple of different ways. You can obviously go turn a valve off. Well, if on a big tower, there is no valve. You got a pipe, maybe it's a six inch pipe or a three inch pipe or two inch pipe that's fed from the tower and there's no valve between the tower and it. Dwight's men need to find another way. The fire must be knocked out at its source, the well hole but the wreckage gives no clear shot. Using enough water to fill a swimming pool every 60 seconds, the team blasts back the flames to protect workers cutting away the tangled heap. It's a battle that rages around the clock, day after day, exhausting the men in shifts. July 24, 2000. Williams responds to another seal fire on a 100-foot, almost 30-meter in diameter tank in Sealy, Texas. Clear from the firefighter's video, walking on the floating roof was out of the question. The, the, 
rubber seal that goes around the circumference of the lid or the roof, the floating roof, has burned away and is now exposed the crude oil in that, in that area, and that's where it's catching the air, that's where it's burning. A seal fire left alone will burn a long, long time. The biggest motivator to put it out is environment. Uh, we don't want any smoke in the air. This particular town on that fire had been evacuated. It had now been burning some 11 hours. Their biggest question for us is when can you put this fire out? 70 rungs up. Chauncey headed for the platform of the crude tank containing 80,000 barrels of hot oil. Flames jumped 20 feet above the seal. We actually rigged up on it, got foam flowing, and they ran about 10 minutes while we continued rigging the DASPA tool. And then as you see us bring it into the tank, from that point on, if you count, the fire is out in less than two minutes, and we never left the platform. Thanks to the DASPA tool, an important advance name for one son-in-law protects the life of the other. Williams had proved it could put out a seal fire from a safer distance, but the contest had only begun. Soon, they will be asked to take on a tank many times larger than the Sealy tank, an ultimate test for the skill of any industrial firefighter. Williams Fire and Hazard Control offers a powerful triumvirate of firefighting knowledge, response equipment designed from our experience, and thunderstorm foam products engineered for superior performance. <laughs>